this time on the Outback Special Finale. We host our own little competition on Big Red, forcing us to drive our cars as hard as possible as not to be outdone, while also trying not to break them, considering we're almost 2,000 kilometers from home. Join us out here at the start of the Simpson Desert in far west outback Queensland. After a quick warm up to get a feel for tyre pressures, we decided to have a little friendly competition. We've picked three lines up Big Red between probably the three hardest ones that we could find. And there's the one that's the easiest, so we'll do that first. Then there's a medium one, which before we aired down to 15, we were at 18 before and we couldn't even get close to driving it, so that should be interesting. Then the third one is the one that I got stuck trying to come down. So it's going to be pretty much impossible to get up it, but we'll give it a crack. Darcy has got 30-inch uh, tyres, open diffs, and he's running 10 PSI, I think, but he's only got three shock absorbers because one fell out on the way here because it broke a shock bolt. Then I'm running 34-inch muddies on uh, 15 PSI with a rear locker with no engine mods, and Ryan is in this BT50 as well, same chassis, but he's got a Just Autos tune and 33s at 15 PSI with a rear locker. So let's get into the competition. Level 1 was pretty easy as expected, and with not much to split the cars so far, we moved on to Level 2. Maybe it was due to my car being the heaviest by far or just poor gear selection, but I was struggling to hold enough speed. Not to be outdone, I lined up for one hell of a run up and gave it everything. Deepest one. 
<laughs> We're gonna go back or forward? <laughs> With the Jimny properly bellied out and with no front recovery points, we needed to get him unstuck backwards. So I claimed that I could reverse up the dune and pull him out that way, which as it turns out I couldn't. So then I decided to drive up forwards and use my winch to pull Darcy out backwards. With Darcy out we were back into the competition and I wasn't waiting around for him to get stuck again. Unfortunately, in doing so, I completely buried the recovery boards under Big Red. After 10 minutes of playing in Queensland's biggest sandpit, we managed to find them and then Ryan lined the BT up for a crack at the dune. After one more failed attempt, we were sick of getting Darcy unstuck, so we told him to give up on it, and therefore gave the BT50s the win. To be honest though, at this point, we were all just stoked to have driven Big Red, and pretty relieved that none of our cars had broken anything major, considering we were 2,000 kilometers from home. We then grabbed out some chairs and a couple of cold drinks, and settled in on top of Big Red to reflect on our highlights of the trip, and watch one of the most spectacular sunsets that Queensland has to offer in this pretty damn epic location. And it shimmers too, like spilled kerosene round the driveway drain. One more day, brother, one more day. You can still see the cricket on the TV from the back veranda. So the men stand around like headless sack of panthers. But you watch the Rosales and people. So that sunset sadly marks the end of this adventure. For us, we now had three days on the road to get back to Brisbane. I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched the series, and especially to all the legends who let me know how much you enjoyed it. This cinematic overlanding style of video series is definitely my favourite to produce, so I'm just really stoked with all the positive feedback that I've gotten. To finish off, I'll leave you with a little montage of some highlights and laughs from the trip, and until next time, have a good one. Get the dog. Don't do that. <laughs> Unlisted. <laughs> it is fucking crazy. Good shack. Oh, you're a good thumbs up. Yeah, that's a good photo. Oh, it's been too long, toilet. Yes. My grandpa did it in one August night with a sawn off shotgun. Ask me where you fucking got one. Now Dave comes in ragged, he's been round the bed. And he's all wigged out, he's gone off with mum again. Mum <laughs> stands there and takes it like again. a backyard no, jacaranda. Like Sisyphus, like a sunburned agapanda. I am one surrounded more here. One more hour.
This is the Black Stump Big Red Long Jump Competition. Why? Why? Woohoo!